Hey guys, and welcome back to Turok. When we last left off, we were fighting this giant dick bag. However, I have discovered how to defeat him, and, well, I was pretty wrong. <laughs> You're not actually meant to shoot him. After some extensive testing offline, or off camera, I should say, uh, what we need to do is ignite these big boom uh, vents in the ground, apparently. That's how we hurt the fucking thing. And we do need to use the flamethrower for this as well. Uh, it does take time for these vents to kind of regen their steam. Okay, come on, you bastard. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Uh, the reason he was bloodied, I guess, I must have hit him a couple of times by accident. At least, that's what I'm thinking. Come on, you big, ugly douchebag. Yeah, you can smash all the bloody rock away. That's fine. In fact, you're doing me a favor, to be honest. Come on, you massive penis. That's it. Ooh. Well, maybe not quite. Yeah, there we go. I think that hurts. Anyway. Yeah, as you can see, the steam's kind of uh, not venting from that one. We need to move on to the next. I need to turn my headset down. Because I cannot even think. There we go. That's better. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Damn. Wasn't being serious. Ow. Right, come on. Let's see that big ass snout of yours. Come on, baby. There you go. Did I hit you? I'm not sure if we hit it. To be honest. Let's stand by this one here. Come on, big boy. Uh oh. That's it. Nope. He's throwing rocks at me. Very difficult to tell whether he's throwing rocks at me or not. Okay, here he comes in for an attack. Nope, more rocks. Ow, my head. There's only so many rocks I can take on my head. Oof. Come on, boy. Oh, god damn. So I... Where do we have to stand for that to... Where do we have to stand for that to actually go off? Because he seems to attack to the left of us, I th think. Okay. I think if we, like, stand here, he's going to attack and sweep. But there seems to be um, a certain window of attack. Yes, yes, Slade. I get it, I get it, I get it. I don't know why we have to do this every single time. Yeah, I don't know how many times we've got to hit him. Right, come on, you big ugly fucker. Did that count? I have no idea. Maybe if we stand far back from it. Is that a thing? Does that, does that work? No, because he's too quick. What about... Oh, I don't know. Trying to work out where he actually attacks and where he hits. Alright. More testing is needed. That was obviously too early. Ah, shit. Right, move, 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 move. Okay, Tarok. What about this way? Oh, right. Okay. I think some of these vents are easier to trigger than others. This one in the middle seems to be quite difficult. But then, ow, he does the whole leg sweep, which, ow, really don't get a lot of, yeah, I, uh. okay, this is going to be like this. Yes, grab some cover whilst you heal. There is no cover, game. There is no cover whatsoever. Ah, uh, okay. 
that tentacle, you can't jump over it. You've just got to dodge. But the trouble is, there is a huge input delay in dodging. And I mean colossal input delay in dodging. I hope you gave yourself a fucking headache. I'm not really sure how his attack pattern works. Like, that obviously didn't do much. And how long does it take these vents to kind of reload, so to speak? Ah, fuck. I guess it takes a good amount of time. Wow, they are really hard to set off, apparently. Especially when you're trapped in the wall, which seems to happen a lot in the... Oh, that one's not even active. That's fucking brilliant. Jesus. Fucking genius. I mean, it, it explodes. Which is a thing that totally just happened. Now that vent over there is active. Brilliant. Okay. So. Ah, can you fuck off? Alright, now he's doing that really annoying sweep the leg thing. Okay. Alright, that definitely hit him. Oof. Oof, he's coming back for more. That did not hit him. Right. Really not sure where we have to sit. I think if he comes at me, that hit him. Right, where's the next vent? In the middle. Fuck. Don't like the middle vent. Ow. Ow. Also... I might also say that, that that dodge is really hard to actually activate as well. Oof. Because you have to push a direction and push jump. And nine times out of ten, not an awful lot of much happens when you push a direction and push jump. So, yeah. Ah, nothing happened. Ineffective. Ineffective dodge. Ineffective. Ow. Alright, okay, okay. Come on. Come and get me. Yeah. It seems that those rocks just fucking home in on you as well. Which is great. Ow. 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 I have my health back, please. Good stuff. Good stuff. I feel like we're just succeeding in pissing him off, though. Which ain't brilliant. See? See? You try and jump out the way of the rocks by pushing the directions. And what happens? Turok just jumps straight up. Or gets hit in the face. Okay. Right, 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 right. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, that went about as well as I thought it would. Have you noticed sometimes you get your health back really quickly? And sometimes you don't. And there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. Sometimes you avoid the rocks. And sometimes you don't. Oh boy. This is going to be fun, isn't it?
well. Shut up and shoot sometimes works. Better go find the coward who dropped this. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anyone about that. <laughs> we won't tell anyone about that. Don't worry. Maybe. Alright. Um, yeah, that was frustrating. It wasn't the biggest problem with that is just the controls and how you just seem to get stuck on absolutely everything. Like, you're trying to back away because you don't want to take your eyes off that fucking thing. But you'll just end up on that. And you can't move. It just holds you in place. Yeah, not a, not a great boss, to be honest. Not like the T-Rex. The T-Rex was a pretty good boss. That was not great. Anyway, enough about that. Let's move on. Gee, these flares don't really light an awful lot of much up, do they? Yeah, that plane throw is pretty good, Slade. Uh, I've kept it topped up for you. So don't you worry about that. My pedigree chum. Probably going to need to edit some of that out. I'm probably going to need to edit a lot of that out. Maybe. Right, what are we working with down here? Ooh. What happened back there? That's just between you and me. Yeah, maybe. It's between you, me, and anyone else I decide to tell. At least I got my own flamethrower now. Although, I wouldn't say it's super effective against these motherfuckers. I mean, it's alright. But... Hmm. Oh, can we not set these off now? That's a shame. Ooh, I like it the boom. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Flame on. Oh, God. Flame on until you can't. Anyway. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I thought. Not a bad plane for her, to be honest. You know, it's... Oh, we can set those off. It's just, I guess, the hitbox is very particular. I don't know if there's any way on this flamethrower to tell how far through the fuel you are. Oh, yeah. It's the actual top canister depletes. Nice. I do like the weapons in this game. The pulse rifle's a bit meh. But the rest of the weapons are pretty solid so far. The SMG is lush. It's a really chunky, nice feeling SMG. The pulse rifle just feels a bit too chunky. If that makes sense. It, it's like this huge meaty weapon that doesn't really feel like it's worth its size, if that makes sense. Would have been nice to get some kind of um, standard assault rifle, I guess. But at least they tried something different. This flamethrower is awesome. The SMG is just fantastic. The shotgun ain't great, but it's, it's serviceable, you know? We're not almost out of fuel here. Oh, God, Slade, keep me covered. Ooh. God, those little canisters hold a lot of juice. I don't know if we have unlimited enemies yet. I have no idea. But we're going to burn the fucking lot out if we have to. Oof. Not bad, Slade. I do wonder how good... Whoa! That one just, like, disappeared on me. Fire would be against these guys. They're very thick shells. 
I'm not sure. But I guess we're going to find out. And uh, by we're going to find out. We've already found out. Fire apparently is super effective. Fire is more effective than shotgun shells. Well, I don't know about more effective than shotgun shells, but I would say it's more efficient than shotgun shells. Ah, oh, that's some of it. See what I mean? But then, it's not in every game you get to fight giant, um, giant uh, scorpions and dinosaurs. So. Looks like we're. Ooh. You guys suck. Me and Slade have destroyed half this fucking army. Half of the nest, at least. Alright, got some nades. That's the trouble. They've come down here equipped with pistols. Why would you do that? Okay. I think we're winning, Slade. Right, let's get out of here. Hopefully. Oh no. This is not out of here. Yeah, me too, buddy. Hey, friend. Ooh. You know that knife is... Whoops. That knife is really fun. It has got to be said. I think the implement uh, implementation of it could be better, but as it is, it's fun. Alright, come on you apes. Oof. I think we can't sneak up on these guys. That is a missed opportunity if you ask me. Oh god, rat shells. Ah, uh, fuck. I didn't realise. For some reason I thought we were picking them up as we went. Not sure why I thought these guys were dropping shells, but hey. Let's go see. Hello? Someone there? No, nobody at all. Oh, hey, friend. Um, yeah. Don't think we can quite get away with that, could we? Damn it. Use your ears in the jungle. You can't always see what's stalking you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Ah, right. Let's try that again, shall we? A little bit less failure this time. Although... Really? I actually saved him from being killed. And he goes and rats on me. What a bitch. God. Now that's the definition of a fucking job's worth. Oh, nice. Yes. Alright there, friend. Ooh, choke for daddy. Right. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Can we, like, climb up here? Cannot climb up here, apparently. Oh, God. Nope, but we can get shot in the ass. Hmm, the climbing mechanics are pretty iffy in this game. Like, early on, there was a few different places we could climb up and whatnot, but now, you know, even ledges that are literally right in front of us, we can't seem to climb, which I don't quite understand. Right, there we go. Nice. <laughs> we saved him just to knife him. Love it. I think you love video games. Video games are the pinnacle of entertainment. 
Right, whilst these guys are murdering, I can go murder them. Ow. Alright, not bad. Now, the only trouble is... How do we get over there? Guess... Okay, I guess these really don't have a very good range, like, at all. Which I guess makes sense. Apart from... Oh, what the fuck is killing me here? Don't make me throw the... Ooh, I was going to say, I might have to throw the shotgun away, but... I can pick up another weapon, I suppose. I don't want to lose the flamethrower, man. It's so much fun. And knifing them so much fun as well. Um, yeah, I guess we can drop the shotgun. I said, no. Yes, drop the shotgun. There we go. That'll do. I guess we're going to need something that can reach out and touch those. Ooh. Well, you know, I mean, when in Rome, I guess we could take a, a pulse rifle. I guess that makes sense. Right, well, let's go for some more knifey knifey. Really? Really? Fucking really? Apparently there's a big hole in the floor. Jesus. Yeah, you're not the only one that's sick of being on the ground, Slade. I'm sure these guys are too. Me, on the other hand, I'm having quite the time. Ooh, hello. Apparently I'm immune to your venom. Immune to your bullshit at the very least. God damn. Little bastards get everywhere, don't they? Oof. Right. How the fuck did I fall down there? And can I get back up? Look, oh god, I gotta go back up there, haven't I? But all those dickheads are up there. Really? Really? Oh god. Well, that worked. I think that literally saved my ass. Oof. Right, how effective is the pulse rifle against these arachnid things? <coughs> uh, super effective. You know, this pulse rifle does seem to be super effective against, like, I don't know, fucking everything. Right. Yes, we can try... Ah, tech arrows. Apparently. Yeah, they're not very smart. Oh, he's only on his back. Bollocks. Who's calling who dumb? Oh, hello. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you fuck off, mate? Jesus. Where the fuck Slade run off to? The way they move is pretty rad. It's got to be said. Yeah, you do have a situation here. You have a very big situation here. You wouldn't happen to have a spare minigun anywhere, would you? No. Oh god, we're being shot by all sorts of shit. Right, let's try and get upstairs, shall we? Yeah, I don't think you're going to get any reinforcements, dude. 
I mean, these arachnids, on the other hand, they seem to be getting reinforcements out the ass. Whoa, there's two of them. Oh, God, there's lots of them. Yep. Can't change weapon when it overheats because I don't know why. Literally makes no sense. Personally, if I had a weapon in my hand that was overheating and I had another one on my back, I'd throw the overheating one down. But hey, you know, I mean, that's just me. What do I know? Uh. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Oh, hey. Grenades. Oh, God. Uh. I think I prefer it down here with the arachnids. Shit. Um. Well, I'm guessing these guys are unlimited. Ow. Come on, guys. I'm just trying to get upstairs. Alright. I will stop killing you when I get upstairs. Surely you can see the win-win. the fuck are you doing down here, Slade? Apart from, you know, being fucking useless. If you could stop being useless for five seconds... Oh, looks like we can get back up here. Interesting. Oh, stuck that bitch to the wall. Um, what is shooting me? Yeah, come on, Slade. Stop being a little bitch. Come up here and actually do something useful. Okay, so I'm guessing arrows can't set off explosive barrels. Which, you know, makes sense. Okay. There's a couple of them. But. Oh, fuck me, grenade. Damn it! Back down here with the bloody arachnids. <sighs> Out of fucks now, boys. Out of fucks. I have no idea if these guys are unlimited. Right. Got more ammo at least. I mean that little shit bag's just come up from nowhere. Oh god, and you. Fuck off. That's right. Oh god. Little shit stain up there. Alright, let's go. Ah, you can get fucked. That's one way to make it rain. Alright, cool. Really would like to turn this flamethrower on these human enemies. Ah, oh, you bitch. Come on. Stop being a bitch. Accept your death like a good human. I think I stuck those guys to the wall. Right, what are we looking like? Can we actually get over there now? Oh god, not quite. One. You know, this bow's definitely better than I was giving it credit for. That's for sure. Right. Might want better arrows for this guy. Ooh. Or maybe. Just maybe. You actually can take those guys out with uh, uh, normal arrows. Set the explosives off. Nice. Right. Come on, Slade. Let's get out of it. I've had enough of these arachnids. Fuck you. Yeah, I can't imagine these things making a very good steak, to be fair. And if we can't eat it, what's the point? Right, where are we at now? Uh, oh! There's a fucking minigun here. Whatever. Fuck. Alright. 
Okay, I didn't think that was going to work. Right, minigun and a flamethrower. Does life get any better than that? Probably not. Maybe a railgun. Would sweeten the deal. Hmm, it takes a lot to set those off. Right. Slade, you're welcome to join me at any time. Okay. I'm going to assume we're going the right way. Yeah, I reckon so. Slade's not with me. Which is curious, but maybe he's just a bitch. Well, we know he's a bitch. Oh. Hey, friend. Meet my little friend. Mr. Knifington. <laughs> Whilst his friends gun me down mercilessly, like the useless sack of shit I am. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. As always, till next time.